In this video, we'll cover hardware setup and configuration for Epson thermal printers for use with Rescue POS. Get to know your printer. Printing functions are an extremely critical part of POS operations. So let's start by getting to know your printer. The top of the printer. There are two buttons on the top of the printer. The recessed button is the on off button and is indicated with the power symbol. The other button is the paper feed button and is indicated by a feed icon. The latch is used to open the top of the printer so you can load paper. The bottom of the printer is where the connection ports are located. There are pins on the connector cable and it's keyed to a certain orientation. So do not force the power connector or you can damage it. The power connector also locks in place and can only be removed by pulling back on the outer sheath of the connector. When using an automatic cash drawer, you'll need to connect the drawer using the port indicated here. One side of the drawer cable should be labeled printer. For wired network printing, you will use the LAN port indicated here. There is also a small light next to the port to indicate when it's connected. Any other ports on the bottom of the printer are not utilized. Make sure everything you are connecting is plugged in to the correct port. How to load the paper. The printer uses thermal printing technology. This means there's no ink cartridge. It uses special thermal active paper. If regular paper is loaded into the printer, it will not print. The paper roll size is 3 and 1 8 inches by 230 feet. At the top, pull back the latch to open the lid. Load thermal paper glossy side towards the front of the printer. Hold approximately 2 inches of the paper as a leader when closing the lid. Printer lights. The front of the printer has some indicator lights. When you turn the printer on, all the lights will blink, and this is normal. After the printer has booted, there are two lights that we don't want to see. The paper out LED. This is an orange light indicating that the printer is out of paper. If the paper out LED is on, the printer will not be available for POS printing. Replace the paper to clear the air. Failed print jobs on the POS should start printing automatically. The error LED, an orange light with an exclamation point. This light indicates a malfunction with the printer. If the printer is in an error state, it will be unavailable for POS printing. Open and close the lid and power cycle the printer. If the error LED comes back, you may need to have the printer serviced. Contact Rescue Support for options. Resetting the printer. If you get an error, sometimes resetting the printer can help. Also, resetting is used to unpair the printer from another device over Bluetooth. Turn the printer off. Hold down the SW button on the bottom of the printer. It can be pressed and held down with a toothpick or a ballpoint pen. While holding down the SW button, turn the printer back on. Keep holding the SW button until the reset confirmation message prints. Release the SW button and the printer will reboot itself. And this completes the reset. The status sheet has a lot of information about your printer, including the MAC address. The MAC address is used later when setting up your printer with rescue support. So it's important and we recommend that you label the outside of your printer with the MAC address. Start with the printer powered on. Lift the lid of the printer. Hold down the feet button inside the cover for three seconds. Close the lid and the status sheet will print. Look at the status sheet for the MAC address under Ethernet status and label it on your printer. In this section, we will cover both wired 
and Bluetooth printing. For LAN printing, this video assumes that you've already set up your dedicated POS network within specifications. The printer must be on a dedicated POS network for it to work. To learn about networking setup requirements, please contact Rescue Support. To connect your printer, make sure the printer has power indicated by the front panel lights. Turn the printer off. Remove the plastic cover from the bottom of the printer to expose the ports if necessary. Plug in an Ethernet cable from your POS network into the LAN port on the bottom of the printer. Turn the printer back on and allow it to boot up. When the printer is connected to the network, it will print the IP address it receives from the router. If you received your router from us, it will be 10.10.10, .10 and the number that you get from the printer should match the IP address of the network. If the IP address checks out, you're ready to configure the printer in Rescue POS. LAN Printing Troubleshooting If the IP address does not match your POS network, the POS will not be able to communicate with the printer. So check the cables and make sure that they lead back to your dedicated POS router. Contact Rescue Support if you're still having trouble. Bluetooth Printer Setup Advisement Bluetooth is only authorized for use as a receipt printer with a stationary POS. Bluetooth is low power wireless for use between 3 to 5 feet line of sight. Only one POS iPad can pair with the printer over Bluetooth. This makes Bluetooth unsuitable for use as a kitchen printer. To pair your iPad to the printer, go to the settings on the iPad. Scroll down to the Rescue POS app and tap. Make sure the Bluetooth permission is enabled. Scroll up to Bluetooth and tap. In the list of available devices, choose the TMM30 printer. It should now show connected. When the printer is paired to the iPad and connected, you're ready to configure the printer in Rescue POS. Bluetooth printer troubleshooting. If the printer doesn't show up in the iPad Bluetooth settings, make sure the printer is turned on and is within three to five feet of the iPad you're pairing to. Toggle Bluetooth off and on on the iPad. Make sure the printer is not paired to another device already. If it's still not showing up in the list, or the printer was previously paired to another device, perform a printer reset as shown at the beginning of this video. If the printer still does not show up after resetting, contact Rescue Support for additional assistance. POS Printer Configuration When you have completed hardware setup for your printer, contact Rescue Support. Since printing functions are critical to operations, we keep POS printer configuration settings locked to avoid being accidentally changed or misconfigured during service. Contact Rescue Support to assist you in assigning your printers. In this video, we covered your printer hardware, how to load the paper, how to reset the printer, and how to connect your printer over the network or Bluetooth and what to do if you need additional help. Thank you for watching.